Okay guys, good day and welcome back. A bit sunnier here in Melbourne today. Makes a nice change from all the wet weather we had yesterday. Now while I'm up here on the roof, I want to go through a few little things about the structural steel. Now, first thing we've got to know is when we're putting structural steel together, we've got to use rated bolts or structural bolts, nuts and washers. So you need to be able to know how to identify them. Okay, so with a structural bolt, I've got one right here. You can identify the structural bolt. It's got these three radial lines around it. So those three lines. And it could also have the 8.8 .8 marked on it as well. So when you see them, you know it's a structural bolt and it's going to be good to go in your steel work. Now on the nut, this might be a little bit harder to see, but we'll see how we go. You'll see those three arcs in it. So you've got three arcs around the nut there. The three arcs tell us it's a structural nut. And on the washer, okay, let's have a look. Okay, you'll see the washer. How oh, can I get this so you can see it? All right, so it's got these three nibs on the outside. Okay, so to make sure you've got the right gear, use bolt, it has three radial lines and 8.8. .8. The nut is going to have three arcs and the washer has three nibs. Okay, so make sure you're using the right gear when you're putting it together. If you're using the wrong gear, it's only going to weaken the structure and there's always a chance it may collapse. So to make sure you've got that structural integrity, make sure you're using the right nuts, bolts and washers. Okay, now to identify a few different pieces of the steelwork, Right, let's wander over here. So, right here we've got our columns. Okay, so our columns go up to the top. Okay, across the top, you will see all the purlins. So all the purlins, that's why you're going to attach all your cladding for the roof onto. Okay, now if we have a look, oh, how am I going to do this? All right, so up the top, We've got these, the long pieces that go, oh, can't even see where my hand is. All right, so you've got the long pieces across the top, and there are roof trusses. So our roof trusses go on top of our columns. All right, so purlins on the roof for the cladding, trusses are the structural members across the top of the roof, and the columns come down and hold it on. Okay, now, along the sides, so these ones here, along the sides, there are girts, and once again, the girts are there to support the cladding. All right, so you need something to be able to put that cladding onto, you don't put it straight into the columns. Okay, now, which way will we go down now? All right, we'll come down here for a minute. Come for a wander down. Okay, and here we have our braces, right? So we've got our braces here. Oh, where can you see it? Right. So these ones coming down here are our braces, and we've got a locking plate in the middle just hold all the braces into place as well. All right. So when you're doing basic rigging, in the practical assessment, you will be putting up a portal frame, and with that portal frame, you're going to be putting up some columns, you're going to be putting up some beams, and some purlins and some girts. Alright, so it's good to be able to recognise them when you see them. And all of these beams, columns, purlins, they should all have a number on them as well, so you can easily identify them from a plan. Alright, so that was just a quick one. So, thanks for your time, and I'll see you again in the next video soon. Thanks, bye.